What up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing the Z-Brace mod for my 3D printer, which is the Balco 3D printer Touch if you're interested, or the um, Cocoon Create Touch, or the Wanhao Duplicator i3 Plus, or the Makers, you get the point. It's, it's, <laughs> it's had many rebrands. Um, I'll put links in the description and that kind of thing down there anyway. But yeah, this is a mod that just strengthens up the gantry, stops it from wobbling while it's printing, and can improve your print, so let's get into it. So what you'll need for this mod is some M3 by 10 uh, socket cap bolts, some M5 by 20 socket cap bolts, some M8 um, just regular nuts, um, some M8 nylock nuts and of course you want your threaded rod and for the 3D printed parts you need um, the left and right um, sort of I think this is from the remixed one I'll put the links in the descriptions exactly which part I've used for which but these are the front two pieces the remixed version of the mod especially for um, the plus uh, you've got your two um, gantry bolts so that's fitting onto here uh, you've got your two rear pieces which is just to level to make it to the same level so it's front and back so it's not wonky as all hell and then you've got your um, ball joints or whatever they are which your um, your actual nuts go into and screw on so first of all do yourself a favour and just <laughs> not miss would be a start Take your filament off and just get it out of the way because that will be like constantly bugging you if you don't. Next step you want to take these four screws out one at a time or one side at a time and replace it with the M3 by 10 mil. if I can get the hand shot without wouldn't it. Um, and then you put each one of these on each side so I'm just going to do that now. <laughs> Okay, the next step is to unscrew these and fit these on now. So, uh, one little tip I picked up from watching one of the videos on how to do this, I'll uh, link it because it was a very good video. Um, this will drop ever so slightly. Oh, probably don't see that because uh, this will drop ever so slightly because um, obviously the screw's holding up. So, when you screw the other one in, you just need to lift that slightly and then it will line up with that. So, let's get doing that. Okay, the next step is to measure our threaded rod. I hope you can see, because um, <laughs> I've got much room in it. But as you can see, we want to just have it so that is sort of mostly lined up there, and we want to cut it off just above to give us enough room. So if I go to the if I go to the ground there, just to make sure, uh, and then have a little bit extra. At the top up there, so we'll call that 45 centimeters. It's a pretty good thing, uh, so we'll go and cut that and I'll be back. There we are, then there's the two pieces cut. Um, one top tip, which I got from my dad because he's a legend, is screw one of your or thread, whatever you want to call it one of your bolts onto the, the rod. It's going to take about 10 hours to get it down the rod because it's like a metre long. But put that on first, then do your cut. And then when you file that, you want to definitely want to file these edges so it's smooth. A, so you don't cut your finger, and B, so you can get this nut on and off. But the reason you put it on first is then when you take it off, 
um, you then go like don't take it all the way off just go to the edge of the thread and then back and a bit further than back and just do that a few times and it'll make sure the thread on the end of the rod is then um, nice and smooth so you don't want to get to this point realize it's all jagged and you can't get a bolt on when you've got it half up in the air because <laughs> that would be bad so the uh, next step is just to get the nylocks on the end of here so that threaded through there and then final assembly so let's get cracking another tip if you're going to hold on to this because this is really tough to get on if you're going to hold on to your rod using a pair of pliers always put something around it first else you will completely mess up your threads and then it'll be pr pretty much useless whereas this will hold that yeah, start again <laughs> allow you to hold on to it firmly will not uh, damage your threads which is what you want now th well, this bit is where you thread the rod up through and in um, but I've just thought of a way which I think might actually be slightly better than the way in the video is that to just lean the two front legs off of the front like this not too far obviously you don't want it tipping so you can get hot low enough underneath to just thread the rod straight through which seems to work rather well just uh, like I said be careful because this is teetering a bit <laughs> so uh, I'm going to do that and uh, show you the result one thing I forgot to mention once you've got the um, the bar through the bottom you want to thread another just regular um, nut all the way down so it helps if you've got something to lean it against and just keep <laughs> blasting it with your finger which sounds terrible, just uh, any uh, older folks watching, uh, don't take that wrongly. Um, but yeah, once it's all the way down, and then you, after that, um, you then start using these with the uh, things, uh, the, the ball joint. So I'll show you that in a moment. Right, now I haven't got all the way down with that bar, so I can put this on using the... Um, Thing of gummies. Okay, apologies for that abrupt, like, cut off. <laughs> I uh, just noticed that, like, these wasn't going to fit properly, and then I realised, like, what the hell? For some reason, I don't know if it's part of the model to help support it, or whether it is um, just something funky with my printer, but it's actually printed the inside circle um, with plastic there, if you can see that. And uh, I found just with a little screwdriver just boom and then it comes out perfectly so I'm not entirely sure whether that's just added into the model as a support material it is entirely possible it is but you just got to ping those <laughs> ping those out um, which you can see is very easy to do like so and now we're ready to go again Okay, the last step is just to finish tightening everything up and to um, just make sure it's square. So let's do that now. Okay, quick tip when you're trying to get this square is to wind your bed all the way down. So round these screws so they're far as they'll go on each four corners. And then use a smaller one. I've got a big one but it's a bit too big. Uh, use a smaller square if you've got, woo, if you've got one. And then just check it both sides. See that one's ever so slightly out. Uh, that one's pretty much bang on. But then one's ever so like that. But get them so they're both at right angles to the bed. Then when you level the bed properly, everything should be square and should be all nice. So we'll give that a whirl.
Now you're probably wondering what on earth is he doing at this angle? But <laughs> basically, now I've got everything set. I don't really want to um, put it on its side or anything, even though you should be fine. Um, but we're just going to put the final touches on, i.e. the little foam pads on the feet. So we're just going to measure it and see how big they need to be. Uh, that's looking to be about six and a half centimetres by three. So six and a half by three. So we're going to cut that square or rectangle out of this uh, felt I got on Amazon. All the links will be in the description. Or, um, and then we'll stick it on all four corners and then we're done. Well there we have it, there's the completed mod. Seems a lot more sturdy than it used to be. I've just put the, it's not actually hooked up yet, but I've just put it back on. But if I try and move that, now it's going nowhere. Apart from that slight rocking from the <laughs> vibration. Maybe there's like a minuscule amount of uh, movement there, but it's, it's honest rock solid. Definitely worth doing this mod. I'm just going to now do a test print, I think. Um, print something quite tall and quite thin or whatever, and then that will test out... Um, like before, I don't know if I can demonstrate on this here. Uh, I don't know how well you can see. It's an oddish plant, so I printed it with my girlfriend. But you can see it. There's ever so slight, not much, but there's a a, a little bit of a layer shift uh, in little places. Not much. Um, you could see it a lot more uh, in taller prints. So as it got put taller, it would obviously wobble about a bit more. Um, so we'll pro try that and we'll see how it comes out. Well there we go, there's the finished print. Um, apart from my fan, which isn't the best in the world, I'm gonna, planning on doing a mod for that soon, so stay tuned for that. Uh, that has actually helped a hell of a lot, so like before, I was getting quite bad layer shifts. Um, whereas this, apart from the, you can see where it didn't quite cool as well as it should do, uh, it came, it it stayed really consistent all the way up, which is like way better than it used to be. Uh, I need to try this with a bigger print, so maybe uh, revisit this soon uh, when I do the fan mod, and then we'll see how that looks. Well, there we have it. Um, this mod, I think, is definitely worth doing. If you've got um, one of these star printers, either the Maker Select, the Balco, the whatever the ones I named at the start of the video um, definitely worth doing um, didn't take that long to print all the parts and I think I paid 15 pounds maybe less which is about 20 dollars worth of parts or whatever and it's worth every penny so stay tuned uh, hopefully coming up will be a better fan mod so either I get a bigger bat fan like uh, I'd like to put the digical one on but I'm not sure if it works with this particular printer I know it works with the v2 but I don't know if it works with a plus so we'll have to see what happens on that one um, but if not then we'll just print maybe um, an adapter so you can have a bigger fan to the smaller hole and then fit that on as normal but we'll see how that goes but anyway thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed please like comment and subscribe it helps me out a lot and I shall see you next time. Ta-ta!